let's quickly review our coordinate system in two dimensions and then we are going to see how we represent a point in three dimensions okay so first let's look at Cartesian two-dimensional system we already know about it so we are just going to have a quick review okay so I know in my Cartesian two-dimensional system I have a x-axis I have a y-axis and a point is represented as x comma y where what is x x is the distance along x-axis okay so this distance is your x and y is the distance along y-axis so y is this okay so essentially you are saying that to reach to this point you have to move along x-axis a distance of x and then you have to move along y-axis a distance of y okay in our Cartesian system our two main axes divide the whole plane into four parts which are known as the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant right so you must be knowing all this now let's look at the other two dimensional system that we use which is the polar coordinate system okay in my polar coordinate system what I have is a pole and a initial line okay my point is represented by r comma theta where r is the distance from the pole it's a straight line distance and theta is the angle with respect to initial line which is theta is equal to 0 okay so r comma theta is represented by a distance from a fixed point known as the pole and an angle with respect to the initial line okay just understand one thing over here r is equal to a is a circle in polar coordinates okay so r is equal to a is a circle having center at pole having radius equal to a okay so when i say r is equal to a i am saying this distance is equal to a so essentially it is a circle with center at pole and radius equal to a and my theta is equal to theta 0 is a line okay it is a line that passes through pole at an angle of theta 0 or in other words it is a line that passes through pole having a slope of theta 0 okay similarly over here x is equal to x0 is a line that is parallel to y axis okay and y is equal to y0 is a line that is parallel to x axis okay over here r is equal to a is a circle theta is equal to theta0 is a line okay another thing is we can interchange between these two coordinates based on the equation x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta okay so if you know r and theta you essentially know your x and y okay and if you know your x and y then you know your r and theta because if you just take squares of these twos you are going to get x square is equal to r square cos square theta and y square is equal to r square sin square theta if you add them up you are going to get r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta take r square common you are going to get cos square theta plus sin square theta which is r square okay so essentially your x square plus y square is equal to r square and if you divide these 